Okay, so we've got this new problem now, and the pr new problem that we have here is let's solve a right triangle of, with one of my angles, so you use capital B, so the capital letters will always give the angle measures, the lowercase will always give you the side measures. So with my angle being, capital B, being 37 degrees, 25 minutes, and with my one side me measure uh, being 7.5 inches. So the first thing I'm going to do here is always draw a picture. So getting it down on paper, I've got... Here's my triangle. Okay, and you can label it whatever you want. You know it's a right triangle. Usually the directions will tell you it's a right triangle. So in this case, here's my right triangle. I have A, I have B, and I have C. Okay, so in this case, what I've got here is C is 90 degrees. So B is my 37 degrees, 25 minutes. So I'm just writing it inside there for it. And then I know that B, which is the side across from the angle, okay, is going to be 7.5. I'm not putting the units on it for this particular case, but now what we have here is that 7.5, 37 degrees, 25 minutes. And essentially what I need to find here is I need to find side A and I need to find side C. But let's start this problem off finding the angle A. To find angle A, it is literally knowing that B and A are complementary. So if they're complementary, it means their measures add up to 90 degrees. So I can write a little equation here if I want that I can say angle A plus 37 degrees, 25 minutes is equal to 90 degrees. So essentially to figure out what that is, the A is, we should all know that you're subtracting it from 90. So you should know that A is equivalent to 90 degrees minus this 37 degrees, 25 minutes. Now, Let's think about this in our heads, not, you know, not necessarily writing it, because you want to start to, to be able to do these things in your head. What makes the extra minute? Because these have to make up to 90, so it means my minutes are, are going to be gone essentially here. So what makes the extra minute? So 25 plus what makes 60, and in this case you should know that it's 35. So when I'm subtracting, you're gonna, what you should know is that A is going to have something with 35 minutes. Now, let's think about this furthermore. 25 and 35 make a minute. You've already got 37, so technically you've got 38 minutes, okay? So what is 90 minus 38? Well, 90 minus 30 is 60, minus 8, you get 52. And lo and behold, you get 52 degrees, 35 minutes. So just doing it in my head, you know, I'm just trying to think about, you know, quick, easy ways to do it. Again, the way I thought about this is what did 25 minutes need to make 60? And when I got that 60, I added that one extra minute on the 37. So I did 90 minus 38, and then I wrote the 52 there. So that my A, okay, we've already got it solved for, so my angle A is 52 degrees, 35 minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna record that answer up here. So that my angle A is 52 degrees, 35 minutes. And then there's my answer for that one. So the next thing I'm now left with trying to find is what is C and what is A? This is an exact answer. I didn't round it. It just was exact. So if I want to, I can use a trigonometric function off of this angle or this angle. And depending on which trigonometric function you use determines simply what steps do you have to do to solve for your, uh, your side. In this case, what I'm going to use, okay, I'm just going to use the given information. I'm a guy who likes to use the given information. So, the given information to me is this 37 degrees, 25 minutes, and then I have B. So what I'm going to use here is I'm going to use tangent again. I like to use tangent. Um, it's just something I got in the habit of using over the years. But that's because I can use tangent because I have an angle and I have an opposite side and I have an unknown adjacent side. So I can say that tangent, so to solve this, I can take the tangent of 37 degrees, 25 minutes, okay, and set that equivalent to the opposite side, which is 7.5, divided by the adjacent side, which is, happens to be my little a. So to solve for this, I would multiply both sides by a. So multiply so both sides by a, you can think about doing this, okay? So I multiply both sides by a, and then I'm left with that, and then I divide by the tangent of 37.25, so you know that a should be equivalent to 7.5 divided by the tangent of 37 degrees, 25 minutes. Now, when you type that in the calculator, depending on what type of calculator you use, I use a TI Inspire. Um,
But either way, it should be the same for this one. So all you're going to do is you're going to take 7.5, and you're going to divide that by, you take your trig function, you hit tangent, okay? Now, when you type this in the calculator, normally I type it in with using the conversion unit, which is literally, I just type into it where I take the tangent, I would type 37, and I would add to it 25 divided by 60, and then that would close out my bar. So hopefully you can see that, if you can see it on my screen or not. But you can see that the way I type it in here is I wrote 7.5, okay, divided by the tangent, okay, of 37 plus 25 divided by 60, and then I hit enter. And lo and behold, what you get here is that, again, I'm going to round now to the nearest tenth because that my answer is a tenth, and I get A is approximately 9.8. So I'm going to come up here and say A is approximately, I'm just going to label my diagram, approximately 9.8. The minute I use the approximation, remember that I can't use that, and I don't, I don't want to. It's not you can't, it's you don't want to. It might skew another of your answers. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to solve for C. So if I want to use the given information, okay? The given information is this 37, okay, degrees 25 minutes. All right, that's the given. So I need to take a trig function of that. So I'm going to take the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So that's my trig function, so that's the sine all over little c, which is now the hypotenuse. And in this case, I'm going to take the sine of that function, because the sine is the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse, so I take the sine this time instead of the tangent of 37 degrees, 25 minutes, and equals 7.5 divided by c. Okay? So now if I want to, this particular one, it's, sol it's solved the same exact way. So for me to do this, all I'm going to do is type in here, okay? that C is going to be equivalent to 7.5 divided by the sine of 37 degrees 25 minutes. So now, now when I go ahead and plug this in, again, I'm just going to take 7.5, I'm going to divide that by, okay, divide it by the sine, so I'm going to type in sine, so I go to my trig cal and I hit sine, and I, again, I like to type in 37, and I add to that 25 divided by 60, Okay, if you have the degree button and the minute button, you can go ahead and do that. This, I just don't feel like having to hit extra buttons. It ends up being about the same amount of keystrokes. So then I just hit enter, and what you get here is that C is approximately, now rounding to the nearest tenth, you'll get 12.3435. So rounding to the nearest tenth, I get 12.3. So C is approximately 12.3. Okay, so now again, if I'm using this, uh, I usually would list these out, and then once you give units, I would put the units back on. So now that I have all my scratch work over here listed, I would come back over and I, I more than likely properly write this out, that I would say that my big A is 52 degrees 35 minutes, my angle C is the 90 degrees, my little A, okay, side A, is going to be, again, I would be approximately 9.8 inches. Okay, and then my little c, side c, is going to be approximately, I'm not going to use the equals, is going to be 12.3, and I'll throw the units back onto it, which is in inches. So I hope that helps if you're doing anything in degrees, minutes. Um, and in seconds, you do the same thing, just have a good, what's going to make that 60, and go so forth from there. So I hope that helps with anything you're doing.